Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Welcome to our Friday EWAX removal video. Uh, what I've done guys, I've compressed all the videos from this week into one video, so I think we're here for about 30 minutes altogether. So you can see that this patient's come through, they've got some very, very sticky uh, wax that's sitting about halfway down the ear canal. Little tiny gap at the top, but as you can see, it slopes upwards further past that, uh, that gap there. So really plugging this patient's ear canal. So we've got the standard size ulna tube in here, and we're just taking these little bits of wax away first of all. And then we get this grip on this much, much bigger piece sitting a little bit further in. Um, I apologize if my voice is a little bit croaky. I've had to do a lot of shouting over the last two days so people can hear me. So, uh, so you'll have to bear with me on that one. Uh, but as we get a grip on this wax, it's starting to very, very slowly come down the ear canal. To the right hand side there, you can just see a little bit of dry skin as well, which is holding against this, uh, this stickier nature to this ear wax. So trying to detach from all sides here, very, very slowly working this down. You can see I'm just trying to wiggle back and forth here. So I'm unsticking from one side, drawing forwards, unsticking from the other, drawing forwards again. It's a bit like trying to get something out of a very tight gap. You've got to kind of wiggle it to get it out. Uh, and that's what we're doing with this wax here. So we've got a nice piece that's just coming out of the canal. There we go. You can see it just almost leapt forwards then with the suction. So we're going to hold on to that bit. I've slowed everything down so you can see this coming away. There we go. Nice big piece. And a little kind of dry skin, dry wax tail to it there as it comes away. There we go. And we'll take a look behind there. You can see that a little bit further in, there's another big chunky bit of wax in there. So we'll just go and grab that now. Um, a few people actually contacted me over the last couple of weeks uh, asking me if I could, when I take the wax out of the ear, uh, if you can, if I could just hold it there so you get an appreciation of the size of it. Um, I've really tried to be conscious of that this week, guys. I've tried to do that for you, but uh, I do get a little bit excited when I get a lot out and I do forget sometimes I take it out a bit too quickly. So I, for most of the videos, I think I've done that this week. So you can see this little sticky bit now coming away. We're drawing that deeper section down the ear canal. There we are, lovely long piece of wax there. And there's another little bit that's been brought forward. So the nice thing with sticky wax is that it does tend to bring the next section forwards. I think all together, guys, we've got about six or seven wax removal. So don't forget to stick around to the end so you get to see them all today. I've got quite a varied bag as well of different bits and pieces we saw this week. And that last good sized chunk, look at that one coming away. A really good sized piece of wax, that one. Oh, just after a little bit of stickiness behind. So we'll hoover that bit up. It's, there you go. That's all gone. Let's take a good look at that eardrum. There we are. Eardrum itself looks a little bit dull. There's not a, not a fantastic light reflex there. Uh, so it, it, I would say this is quite common in this time of year when you get this much colder weather and the colds and things start doing the rounds. Some people can get this uh, little bit of dullness to the eardrum. It's usually an indication that either the eardrum isn't sitting in its normal position. There may be a little bit of fluid sitting behind there as well, but on the whole, looking good. Uh, we're just doing a little bit of tidying up. I just spotted there's another little piece there to the right hand side. So we'll get rid of that, just pop the, the uh, fine end on there, because we're working just that little bit closer to the canal wall, and just to get the angle we need to take that little sticky bit away. There we go, you can see just pulling down from the top and off that comes. There we go, out that comes. There we are. See, I did well. I did remember to take that bit and show you. Uh, and there we go. You can see that you're drumming in a bit greater detail there. So this is what we removed. So we've got uh, two and a half centimeters, just over an inch or an inch and one sixteenth, if you want to be super precise, uh, that we took out of that ear canal. But yeah, some really, really big old chunky bits of wax. So you can see why this patient would have been really struggling on that one side. Now, it's not uncommon to get wax just affecting one side and not the other. Sometimes there could be an anatomical feature for that, and that's the reason reason it happens but a lot of the time it's just a little bit of luck sometimes it just unfortunately blocks up on that one ear very humid ear canal this one you can see very dense cilia around the outside edge of the ear canal there and the wax itself very very dark in color so uh so we're just using the standard size on the tube on this one uh also very very sticky this type we're seeing a lot of people with stickier wax coming through at the moment and um, there's no particular reason for that you just do find you go through phases of people you know lots of people coming through with a particular type of ear wax 
Uh, you can see this one's holding on for dear life though. We got a really good grip on there. We were wiggling back and forth, but it really just did not want to budge that one. Uh, as we pull this down, you can uh, see that this wax is a slightly different consistency. It's sticky, but it's more this fudgy uh, type of consistency, which is never an easy one to remove with, uh, with suction just because it tends to break away in small little chunks and block the end of the suction tube. So what I've done here is popped some olive oil in here. So we've introduced a little bit of olive oil into the ear canal. That coats the surface of the wax, which makes it slide across the skin a little bit easier, but it also helps me to get a much better suction grip. And sometimes it'll soften it as well. There's a little bit of dry skin. That's what I'm working on here. You can see that kind of movement where I'm pulling down and pulling forwards. So, uh, pressing the wax down from the top to try and get easy it out of the ear canal and also draw it forward. So it's this kind of diagonal movement that we're doing here. Uh, when you get to the outer part then, obviously it hits the, the inside of the, of the sort of trigger stitch. You've got to maneuver that around. There we go. It's starting to come away. You can see it's really, oh, are we going to get this out or are we going to have to do the jobs and horn? Because I've done this over the course of a week, I can't actually remember some of these now. But we're uh, just trying to wiggle this out. Oh, I'm fighting with it. It does not want to come out. I think we're going to switch to the jobs and Yeah, I was going to say we're going to have to put the jobs and horn in there. Uh, you can see a little bit of blurring there. That's where we put the olive oil in. It's, it coats those little cilia. So sometimes they'll just be waving in front of the camera. But look at this plug coming away. Look at that. Really, really good plug, that one. Out that cut. We're still going on that one. Look at that coming away. That is one big plug. And we were just working on the front end. You can see it was very thin, that front end. That's just where we were holding onto it with the suction and making that circular movement. It tends to pull that and taper that front end in then. A few more little pieces to come away. So we'll get those out for you next. There we go. Um, I actually did a really, really good one today. Uh, but I didn't have time to edit it. So that's going to come into next week's video. Um, just in case you haven't been watching the channel for a little while, we are super, super busy here. Uh, thank you again for your understanding, everybody on the channel, which means we can't post Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, it's easier for me to upload one long video on a Friday at the moment, guys. So um, that's what you'll be getting from now on. We'll be doing these much longer videos. Uh, you can see a good light reflex there. Look at the difference, how shiny that eardrum is compared to the last one you saw, uh, where you know, they're getting a really good light reflex bouncing back off the eardrum there as we shine it in. So this is the, the patient's other ear now. And uh, you can see it's very, very blocked up. That ultra dense cilia. Now it does make it a little bit more difficult when uh, these little hairs on the outer part of the ear canal are, are really closely clustered together and really dense. Um, because when you're using an endoscope, obviously you have to sit behind the tools a little bit. And when the wax is very, very, uh, or when the, sorry, when the ear canal is very, very full, the wax tends to come right to the outside edge. So you are sometimes sitting behind those hairs. So we're just trying to wiggle this out. Those hairs actually do have quite an important job. They sit on the outside part of the ear canal. They stop any bigger bits of dirt and debris from getting inside the canal. But I'm really having to wrestle with this one. He is super duper sticky. There we go. Uh, I've popped a little bit of olive oil in here now for the same reason we did on the other side, just to try and uh, help everything to slide across the skin that little bit better and to help me get a better grip. I'm hoping to try and, there you go, trying to lift from the bottom, so trying to detach it. You'll see that slightly grayer uh, section just underneath the suction tube, uh, sorry, to the, just to the underneath into the right of the suction tube there. That's a little bit of dry skin, so that tends to peel away from the canal wall. Uh, and it's, everything's really, <laughs> we're turbo wiggling again, guys. We're <laughs> trying to get this out, but it doesn't, doesn't, what a budge. Look at that. It is very at home in there. Oh, now it's going. There we go. We just saw that last little bit coming forwards. We just managed to turn the wax a little bit. Good. Almost a, a spherical plug of wax, that one. Um, what's behind that? Oh, there's a little bit more back there as well. So we'll just get this bit. Look how deep that wax was going though. So you can see how these patients really struggle sometimes with their hearing, especially when it's gone very deep like this and plugged it completely. Uh, we're gonna be careful with this one now. Very, there we go. I was gonna say we had to spin it just to get it out of the recess. There we are. A little bit of blurring on the camera. That's just a little bit of oil residue left over. Light reflex there as well, but not quite as present as on the other side. Uh, so we've got an inch and three eighths, so just under three and a half centimeters, but some uh, big old 
meaty old chunks of wax there uh, and really, really blocked up that poor patient. But he were much, much better when I left. Uh, I had a gentleman this morning, never had his ear cleaned up for 50 years. Uh, that's coming next week. Uh, that, and that was, an, oh my goodness, that was a big wax removal. Um, so what we've got now is a much softer type of wax on this one. This is our third patient in the compilation. Stay tuned, guys. There's plenty more to come. Uh, so we've got a, a few good ones later on. And you'll see this much, much softer debris. Now, with softer wax, looking at this wax, it's very kind of mushy at the surface here, right at the front end. Now, that can usually be indicated that patients been using quite a few drops uh, and really kind of uh, I put a lot in it to try and soften this wax up. It, it'll, you'll get this uh, very soft consistency on the surface where the, the drops have come into contact with the surface wax there. Uh, but it, it does make it a little bit more difficult uh, to remove it if it's very wet, uh, which is what I can see here. So what we get, the reason this becomes more difficult is that wax becomes very sloppy and mushy and it ends up covering the entire canal wall. So you lose some of your uh, anatomical markers. So obviously when we're using an endoscope, uh, it's not stereoscopic vision as such, so, but you, although you can get a certain element of depth perception there, um, when you're working down the ear canal, you're looking for certain markers on the ear canal walls, uh, and when it becomes this mushy, it's very difficult to, to pin those markers. So what I tend to like to do is clear uh, some of the canal wall first, right at the entrance, and you can see now I'm just uncovering the skin uh, of the ear canal wall because it helps a bit later on then but not an easy one to do. You can see how it all starts peeling. Look at the texture of it. Very wet and slushy, I would call this type of wax. Uh, just lifting from the, ooh, we had a little bit of movement then. Let's clear this piece to the left-hand side. We had, as we got a grip on that bottom section, it was just a little jump. That wax was just starting to come forwards a little bit. Let's see if we can get that again. There, did you see it again? That, that the kind of big movement you got coming forwards? That shows me that the, the, the back end of that wax is quite loose, but the front end here uh, is obviously still really firmly stuck to the canal walls. It's whether we can get that plug past this initial section here. Uh, the reason we're a little bit more cautious about peeling it away from the canal walls, they're very sensitive. Um, so it would feel like a sharp scratch if you dug into that wall. And without knowing where that canal wall bends and turns, because it's so covered in wax, you do run the risk of doing that. So I'm trying to leave that piece uh, on the left-hand side, of, my right hand, left hand, on the left-hand side there. Um, when I look at these, my view is reversed. So my right is my left. So I find that a little bit hard to get on. But we're just taking you know, a little bit more olive oil gone in. There you go. You can see how that olive oil makes such a big difference with this uh, stickier type wax on the canal wall. That bit's gone. Let's see now if we can draw this next section down. There we go. Look how all of that is starting to pull into the suction machine there. You can see the olive oil that's pooled down the side as well, which means if we do manage to get a really good grip here uh, on a, maybe a slightly harder uh, nugget of wax in the middle of that softer section, it's going to pull the whole thing. There we go. See how that all now has leapt forwards a little bit. So we've got it right to the entrance of the ear canal here. Now this is always a little bit, a uh, little bit more difficult because when you get it to the outer section of the ear canal, sometimes it can just be just too big, which is why you see me go in with the Jobson horn a lot to go in and kind of save the day. Uh, what I'm doing here is just using it to break, or is using the standard size zona tube, I should say, sorry, to break this wax down, make it a little bit smaller, work these pieces out to the canal. Very, very soft, this wax. So everything is ending up in the suction tube for this one. Oh, it's just, just coming forward. Uh, the reason I haven't jumped in with the jobs and the horn, there we go, that's a good plug. Obviously, I got too excited and forgot to show you the picture again. Uh, but when you, we don't use the jobs and horn sometimes for these really soft, squishy ones when you get to the outer section of the ear canal, is when you use the jobs and horn, it, look at that, pe look at that peeling away. It just, you can see how it is all coated against that canal wall uh, and uh, really just stuck there really, really well. 
There we go. Good eardrum there. Good light reflex. Um, yes, I'm sorry. I, 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 I digress. Well, the reason we don't use the jobs normal with this really soft wax is when you try and pull it out from the entrance there, sometimes it can just spread it against the sides and then you've got to peel it back down again then. Um, so this is the patient's other ear. So you can see it's uh, very light uh, material here at the entrance. Now this is either, I would say this is a little bit of dry skin. Um, sometimes you get this when a patient's used a peroxide drop. Uh, I know, what do they use in the US? Uh, Debrox, I think they use in the US, something like that. That's that's a proxy brush or Otex here in the UK. It can sometimes bleach uh, bleach the wax and you get this very light color. But this looks mostly like dry skin here because it's very smooth. You can see the color difference there as we take this away. So really getting a good grip uh, on this section. Ooh, is that gonna come away nicely? It looks like, oh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's so close. Uh, it, you're kind of holding on. It's just not managing to pull enough into the suction to hold it really tightly. Oh, it's almost there. There's a lot of dead skin going on the outside of this ear canal. Let's see if we can wiggle this a little bit more. Oh, it's just not budging there. Okay, let's go in with the Jobson Hall. Let's try and get rid of some of that dead skin at the entrance. That's gonna make things a lot easier. It's also gonna make it a lot quieter for the patient because this uh, dead skin material that you tend to get will vibrate in the end of the, the suction tube called clarinetting, which is where for, uh, it, it, uh, you get a really high-pitched uh, squeaking sound coming through. So, so we're just taking that away, excuse me. Um, we're just getting to the wax now behind that skin. There was a little bit more skin then. You can see the texture now is totally different. That front section, very, very wet. Look just beyond the suction tube and you'll see a much drier, darker type wax. Been here a little while, this one. There we go, out that comes. Oh, you can, you can see that skin lifting off the canal wall as we're going in. So this has almost been cocooning this wax uh, and holding onto it really, really tightly. And sometimes when you when you do unplug uh, a piece of wax from the canal wall, especially if it's been forming a really, really good seal, you'll get this sudden um, release of all the warm, kind of moist air that's been sitting behind it, and you'll get this uh, this kind of humid uh, misting then to the ear canal, uh, to, to the ear canal, my goodness me, to the uh, endoscope, that's the word I was looking for. You can see a little bit of wax there just stuck to the um, camera. Just taking this little bit, I think we'll have to clean this off. There you go, let's give that a good clean. There we go. Uh, now we can get a good look. You can see that skin, that debris. Oh my goodness, that is really plugged in there. Really, really plugged. Let's hope we can detach this enough to get a bit of a wiggle going. There we go. Uh, if you do hear some other voices, guys, uh, it's because we're, we're uh, the clerking team are next door to my office, so they're doing all the clerking for new patients. So we're really trying to get, oh, it's now it's moving. That was a good chunk right in the middle there. So that central section's come away. Now that should leave a looser piece at the top and the bottom there, which may be able to give us a little bit more wiggle room in here. There we go, brilliant. As we take that away, it just spun, and, and we managed to get that, that next section away there. Ah, there's still more, my goodness, this ear canal is so full. This is almost right down on top of the eardrum now. Um, let's try and pull it downwards. It's hardened a little bit down here, which is not a great thing to see when it's this close to the eardrum. Let's see if we can drop. There we go. I'm just working on the outside. Oh, it spun again. I'm just trying to work on the outside edges and take some of these looser pieces away. The smaller I can make this, the, the more room uh, to maneuver I'm gonna have in the ear canal itself. And looking at this wax, I would imagine we'll see a little bit of discoloration left on the eardrum as well from this. Oh, it's almost, oh, you can see I'm probing the wax. I'm looking for any looser sections we can exploit. Oh, that was a little bit harder, that bit. Yeah, it's, uh, it's almost there. It's, it's just on the outside edge. We've also got to be careful with the anterior recess here as well. We don't want to leave this, this really sticky, mushy stuff down in there. Very, very slowly uncovering this drum. There we are. Oh, it's now it's that there we look at that just starting to pull around from the side. That's a really good sign. It means that this last little bit of wax has um, 
uh, some, uh, I don't want to say rigidity, but it, it's a little bit uh, tougher. So it means we can exploit that. We can we can work with the wax now to try and get all of this. Oh, there it goes. So out it comes from the anterior recess. This is the biggest pro you know, difficulty we have with this wet wax is when it gets stuck down in there. But that came away really, really well. Just that little lift. You can saw as soon as we detach that top section, that lift from the base then and out all that came. Let's get all the, oh my goodness, there is so much in this ear canal. There we are. I can just see the eardrum beyond now, which is great. Very, look how wet that wax is there at the entrance as well. Now obviously it would have picked up a little bit of uh, olive oil. Let's get that out of the recess. There we go. Clean all that away a little bit. Let's get this bit off as well. Perfect patient hearing so much better now that's gone. I can see the eardrum now, which is fantastic. Now, one thing you'll notice here that you do see all of us, all, all of the uh, audiologists, I know you guys watch all the other audiologists, like Connor and Neil as well. Um, you'll always see us leave some wax behind. Now there is a really important reason for that. Is it wax, oh, before, let me do the measurement, otherwise I'll lose track. Two and a quarter inches, five and a half centimeters, five and a half. Five and a half centimeters. Um, there's a really important reason we leave some of that wax behind. Wax has a really, really important job in the ear canal. It's there to protect the ear, stop you from getting infections. So if you do see little dots left behind, it's not that we're not doing our job properly, it's that we're leaving those bits to protect the ear. And what you'll find is we're getting rid of the, the bigger, like this particular section here, this much, much larger piece of wax, that's the offending wax that's causing these hearing issues. But we're leaving some wax behind to protect that ear moving forward as well. This was a really chunky bit of wax. It is such a hard piece, this one. Um, so you can see I've got it to the outer part of the ear canal. We've also got this kind of this layer to the to the right hand side there, this thin layer sitting just underneath it as well, which is a little bit of dry skin. Uh, is this going to come past that? Is the question I would be asking myself while I'm doing this. And can we maneuver? Uh, it's not really. See how we were trying to push it down? It was just springing back into place. Jobs and Horn's going to go in and get this out. So we'll aim for the top. Just sneak over the top of the wax, downwards and forwards pressure. There you go, out that roll. So much easier with the jobs in the home for that particular type. It's breaking down a little bit though as we're taking out. Look how it's, when it's not confined by the shape of the ear canal then, it starts to kind of almost open up like a flower. It comes away that way as it's coming away. <laughs> Sorry, my voice is going again. So out that's come. I've just, <laughs> I've dropped into the bowl of the ear. I think we'll bring the suction tube in. Oh, we got a note, jobs and horn. Let's pick it up with the jobs and horn. There you go, just so you can see what's come away. So those lighter material bits underneath, that's uh, a little bit of dry skin. So we'll take a look behind that. A whole plug came away, but we've got this sheet of dead skin here at the base of the canal. So let's take that away. There we go. Out that pops. There we are. You can see it was quite a quite a, uh, a flat sheet of skin there at the base of the canal. A uh, little bit more here. Let's just take that a little bit away as well. Skin is meant to migrate out towards the outer part of the ear canal and then just break away and come out with wax. But obviously in this particular case, it had stayed stuck to the canal wall. I'll just hoover that bit up. Uh, we'll take a look behind. Or oh, a couple of little straggly bits here at the top. Let's just take those loose bits away there. There we go. And then we'll have a good look at this eardrum now in a second. <laughs> Don't want to come away. There we are. Right, let's go in. We're going to look at that eardrum. There it is. Uh, yeah, eardrum looking healthy. A little, little sort of tiny bit of a light reflex left. So we have two centimeters. One, uh, no, it's not. It's seven eighths of an inch. Look at that. Look at the size of that first initial plug though. It's really, really dry, hard. If you felt that, it would feel almost crumbly um, if you felt it. Uh, we have something in the UK called tablets, a bit like a fudge, uh, like a dry version of fudge, and it's really, really crumbly. Ooh, look at this one. We have a very, very full ear canal. It's got a bit of a sheen to it, which means it's either soft or it's really hardened up. So let's have a look. What have we got here? It's hard, it's tough as old boots. Um, the sheen you can get sometimes when you put it, ooh, that bit's a bit softer there. Uh, the, the sheen you can get, is sometimes you get a little bit of olive oil on there and it's caused this light, light, uh, this sort of light to bounce back. We're just gonna nip over the top. It's a weird texture, this one. It's got a bit of a, a harder outer shell, but a little bit softer uh, on the inside, like an armadillo. So you'll just pull this away now. 
and you'll see how that softer section on the inside almost kind of unravels, uh, but the harder shell stays attached to the canal. Ooh, a bit of a wobble there. Stays attached to the canal wall. So we can see you can see where the Jobson horn's taking this this sort of gouge, this gully form now in the middle. Uh, so I'm just going to gently pop. See if I can get to the harder section behind that. There was a little bit of a gap. Now we pull forward. See how that that that. Uh, the, uh, Blah, 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 that, oh, oh my gosh, this hard outer crest. There we are. Uh, it's all starting to move forward. I've lost the ability to speak today. <laughs> it's been such a busy week. Uh, I hope this is coming. There we go. The whole plug. Look at that. Uh, can we really, really well? I think we're still going. Are we still going? Yes, we are. Nearly, nearly. There it is. So <laughs> you can see just how long that piece was. Look at that. It practically covered the entire canal wall. Um, so eardrum looking lovely and healthy there. Uh, just going to tidy up. I think this is his top section here. Ooh, look at that. Look at the. You can see almost the dryness of it there when it came away. You can see how that then forms that outer uh, sleeve of, 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 of dry sort of skin around the outside edge, but looking much, much better. And now we've got away, uh, now we've got that offending piece of wax away. The natural migration processes can carry on now in the ear because the ear is constantly trying to expel wax. Unfortunately, when you get these blockages forming though, everything's just backing up behind it so it doesn't quite get out. So that was the patient's uh, first ear. So this is their other ear now. And uh, you can see it looks a very, very similar story here. Yeah, I think we're gonna go straight in with the Jobson horn. Sometimes if you've done one patient's ear and it's a very uh, you know, hard wax, oh, it's a little bit softer there though, on the outside edge. This is what I was, you know, I, oh, a few suctions back, we were talking about why we didn't tend to use the Jobson horn when the wax gets really soft at the entrance. It's because it does that. It basically, it just, it, it spreads and it doesn't really help you much in, as far as getting that out. But we've got this harder section that I'm just gonna work on here, out that pops. There we are, and uh, we'll take a look. Oh, we're gonna carry on with the Jobson horn here. There must be a reason why I decided to carry on with this Jobson horn. Perhaps I can see a little bit of a harder section that I think I can pull forwards. Ooh, is it gonna, I think that's just gonna break this, this softer stuff away. It's a very, very uh, soft, oh, I'm trying to think. Um, what do the Americans call it? Fig Newton, inside of a Fig Newton. Uh, Oh my God, I forgot, what the, oh, I forgot what we call it here in the UK. What do we call those things? Fig roll. There you go. So it's that kind of, that kind of texture on the inside. So we're just trying to take this, uh, this section here away. It's so difficult when I've got to work with two different foodstuffs from two different countries. It's really difficult. <laughs> so we're just trying to lift now. What we're left with, we've taken that, that softer uh, central section of wax away. What you'll see me do now is, is roll up, almost like uh, uh, rolling a piece of paper or carpet or something like that, rolling this up in front of the suction. Uh, this is the harder section that's around the outside edge. Then we give it a good wiggle, as you see in here, and then that tends to loosen it off so we can get this off, and we'll go back in now and we'll do the same thing again. So we'll lift from the base up into that newly created cavity that we've put into the middle there by taking the softer wax away. So lifting up into that base, it's detaching that stickier uh, outer residue around the outside of the wax there. And then we can fold it into the center and then wiggle it to bring it out. Uh, you can see, uh, this is one of, the, one of the, the harder types of wax to work with. It's just so, uh, soft that you don't really get a fantastic suction grip on this. Um, if I didn't know myself any better, I'd say I'd be putting some olive oil in anytime soon, I'd imagine. But it, ah, there we look at that. Uh, so then we can um, we can go in then, and when we lift this up, the olive oil is going to work like a barrier just underneath it to stop it from re uh, sticking against the canal wall. Um, I really hope my voice is going to hold out for another couple of minutes. And then we're lifting again now. You can see that little bit of blurring you get to the camera is, is residual olive oil that's on the cilia themselves. Oh, the, oh see it. It's, the, it's almost there. That side was just holding it in. So I'm just going to lift this bottom section again. Uh, can we get this out? Can we get this out? Up that goes. It's oh, it's so, so close to coming out. That lighter material needs a little bit of dry skin. That tends to hold on, especially when you're dealing with this softer wax, it tends to hold a little bit better. 
oh, it's not done. If we can sneak over the top here, we might, we might just get, ah, just pushed it back down. Ah, it's so close. What we did with the jobs and I pushed it back down into place, unfortunately, which is the risk you have when you make these things a little bit more mobile then in the ear canal. But we managed to get behind the top of it. Let's draw this out. Let's use that little bit of dry skin against the wax itself. Pull this almost like a sled. There we go. And out that plug comes. Oh my goodness, we had to fight for that one. That one did not, oh, it's still more in there. So we'll go behind this next section now, draw this forward. Oh my goodness, this wax was going in such a long way. Uh, let's start scooping this forwards. There we go, out that comes. That's a big chunky bit of wax, that one. Uh, but look at that, behind that looking really, really good. Really, really good. You can see what I said about uh, releasing all that much. Oh my word, six centimeters, two and a half inches. I told you I'd forgotten I'd done some of these this week. Oh my goodness, that, that is, and that is a lot of debris. You can imagine how pleased that particular patient was uh, to get that out of the rear canals. But uh, that was a heck of a lot in there. That is so much. I think that might be the last one. Yes, it is, there we are. Oh. My voice held up. Well, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. I uh, hope you enjoyed the longer video. I'm going to try and do this moving forwards if we can. Just put everybody together and do one long voiceover. Um, I know you guys like the longer videos. And to be honest with you, it's just a little bit easier for me uh, with clinic being so manic at the moment. Um, <laughs> I apologize as well for losing where I was halfway through that and getting words mixed up as well. It's been a long week. Well, guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed that. Don't forget, take care of yourselves, take care of your ears, take care of one another. Have a fab weekend, and I'll see you again next week. All the best, guys. Bye.